Some people are going to want to ask, can I take this in a really cold environment? Is this in a true four season capable RV? It's just for that buyer that wants something just a little smaller, but they're not really ready to go down to a V-Man. And that's really good what's going to make your product last for a very long time. And when you're making such an investment, you want it to stay beautiful. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. I'm out here with Tina from Phoenix Cruiser. If you've watched some of our other videos with Phoenix Cruiser, we'll link them above. People really love your units. But we have one behind us that just wasn't available for a while due to shortages and popularities to Phoenix TRX. Tina is here. She's going to kind of explain why people like this unit so much. So this is really exciting because this is the first show in a couple years that we've been able to bring the Phoenix TRX. It launched two or three years ago and just because of chassis limitations we've probably only run less than 30 to 40 units in the last few years. And that was total. That was total. So people have it like pretty lucky that they yes. even have it. We usually have a lot, uh, typically have a long list of interested people waiting for it to come out and they're always looking forward to seeing it at a show and so we're excited to have it here. This is built on the Ford Transit chassis. It has the uh, 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Very popular. And, yeah, everybody seems to love that. So we're really excited about that. It's just for that buyer that wants something just a little smaller, but they don't, they're not really ready to go down to a a B van. Now let's talk about the size here. This is 2210 total length without the ladder. No slides on this, but it opens up nicely inside. This is mm -hmm. considered like the B plus. Yes, still a B plus. And this is all wheel drive, you know, light off road, snow it's going to be good on. So mm -hmm. it's very maneuverable. Not like that big monster we have. You can get this in and out of here with no problem. Yeah, it's really easy to drive. It feels like you're driving a van. Tell us a little bit about Phoenix Cruiser, why your company is different than some of the other companies regarding your build, how you do things differently. Well, one of the things that we're really known for is our exterior body paint. Every Phoenix Cruiser or Phoenix TRX has a full body paint. You've got the three colors, you've got the triple clear coat, and that's really what it's going to make your product last for a very long time and when you're making such an investment you want it to stay beautiful. We also put on all of the forward facing painted surfaces and a lot of the areas where you get a little more activity like your keyhole areas we put the uh, diamond shield film protector. Diamond shield offers three levels and we put the highest grade okay. uh, that comes with a lifetime warranty. So if you end up with a little chip in the diamond shield they have service techs all over and they'll they'll come out and service your coach. Now being that this is all wheel drive uh, some people are going to want to ask can I take this in a really cold environment. Is this four season, a true four season capable RV? What do you do different to make sure that you're protected in the cold? So all of our coaches have, the plumbing is above the floor. You know, if you've got your furnace going and keeping the interior of the coach heated, you should be in pretty good shape. All the tanks are insulated and heated. So starting down the passenger side, I see a couple of things here, some storage bins. I see you have frameless windows. You want to explain what's going on over here? So all of our coaches have the dark tint frameless insulated windows so insulator or non-insulated seems to vary throughout the industry right. but all of our coaches insulated windows are standard you've got a little toolbox area here you've got your access for the propane here here we have in all of our coaches you've got the uh, battery tray it's powder coated slide out battery tray so it's easy access and then because it's powder coated it's gonna weather really well over especially if in that snowy environment with salt you want something to protect that yep absolutely that area. so the phoenix trx has uh this is the vent here for the three-way refrigerator um, whether you want uh, 12 volt propane or full hookup is there an option to get a 12 volt only refrigerator if you want on here not on this coach okay on the, on the other cruiser, ones. we have done that and one other thing i noticed you have double outlets here which is yeah. always a nice thing and then the the awning is a very large awning for a coach this size. I see you have LEDs running down this on the coach side and I see some LEDs over here mm -hmm. also. Yeah, that's one thing that we are really take priority in is making sure there's a full length awning on every coach. And this is the Lippert uh, Solera awning and it comes with the smart arm and it has the wind sensor. Yes. You're gonna enjoy being out in front of your coach. We've seen that when we're at Pocono Raceway in NASCAR, like this monsoon came through for 20 minutes and people's awnings were, well actually one of them flew off. It just ripped right off. The people leave their awning out and then wow. it doesn't retract and then you don't have an awning when you get back. Yes, exactly. So every Phoenix Cruiser or Phoenix TRX will have an awning that goes the full length of the coach. So one of the things you're gonna see on the Phoenix TRX is what we consider to be pretty distinctive body style.
styling with the Phoenix Cruisers and with the TRX, you've got the um, aerodynamic overhead cap as well as the, uh, the contour in the back and the, the sidewalls. With that, we've got our custom door that contours with the I was going to comment on that. So yeah, it's not like a flat door. It almost looks like it's, it looks like an airplane door. Like it yeah. kind of sucks in. Yep. And also, you know, because of the, the casing of the door, um, it is uh, steel cased. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is going to stay solid for yeah. a lot of years. Do you happen to know how many miles per gallon on average this gets on this unit? About 12, 11 to 12 okay, in not my bad. experience. Better than ours. <laughs> so with that, so like I said, you've got your steel cased contoured door. You've got the uh, power steps that whenever you open the door, it extends for you. Phoenix USA lighted grab handle, which we have on every coach. On this coach, you do have the uh, Dometic hot water heater. Also typical with all of our coaches, you have this nice rear trunk that's good for all your power cords and hoses and things like that. So it keeps them nice and organized. And I see uh, all LED tail lights, marker lights, you have the camera. This is a 3,000 pound tow hitch. Yes. You can't tow too much, but you still can get something, maybe a little smart car or a motorcycle you can tow back yeah. here. We, really um, nice. you know, the original prototype that we had a few, several years ago, we uh, would tow our show trailer behind yeah. it and take it to all the shows. So the thing is with something this size, you're going to be towing a trailer. You don't really need to tow a car because you can just drop a trailer and this will get anywhere you need to go. Absolutely. And this size, I mean, it fits in most standard parking parking spaces. So on the driver's side, it's kind of tight right here, but uh, you have your dumps. You also have your city water connection. You have an outdoor shower. Generator is a... It's a 2.8 Onan generator. So plenty because it's 30 amp coach. And you have a little bit more of those toolboxes. Plenty of space back here and enough for a unit this size. What really is nice about this when it opens up inside, what you can see inside. So let's yeah, let's absolutely. head inside. Before we move any further, I want to thank the official sponsor of our Hershey trip. It's going to be campgroundviews.com. What is campgroundviews.com? Well, it is like a Google Earth for a campground. So not only can you see the campgrounds, you can do virtual tour of the campgrounds. Every site, every cabin, every bathroom, and even more so, you can go onto that site and you can book the site right from there. Now, campgroundviews.com has been around for a couple of years. They are quickly building their database with over 35,000 campsites and 900 campgrounds, and they continue to grow daily. Their ultimate goal is to have every campground in the U.S. in their database. For a limited time, if you use the discount code ENDLESS50, you will get 50% off of a membership. This is going to be the future. They are doing it right, building their database, and they're a huge supporter of the channel, so go check them out. So inside, it's a Class B with B plus with no slide, but there is a lot of room in here. So talk about some of the unique design features that you have in this coach to make it roomy. All of our floor plans, we really like to keep the living space kind of open. While we want to offer as much storage as possible, which we think we have done in this small coach, once you're in it, you still have a lot of elbow room. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, the typical storage over the cab. So on each side of the cab area, you've got the 30 inch TV on the swivel arm. And then along the side of the coach, you have all the overheads. And along here, you've got your JBL and DVR. But you can get a lot of necessities in those cabinets. These are made so well too. They're very sturdy. Yeah, and um, we put some pretty strong magnets on there. <laughs> yeah. so was, they're not gonna just flap open. I was yeah. just Easily. commenting, I was pulling, and we don't like to pull hard on things because sometimes there's a hidden lock and I'm like, I, it, yeah, that's but yeah, they are strong. Yeah. So this won't open and stuff go flying out when you're going down the road. Right, absolutely, because it happens all the time. Too often. <laughs> so in this coach, actually, we have a little bit new items as far as like the decor scheme. This is our new uh, Soraka Gray in the Valance treatment. The furniture in the Phoenix T TRX is um, ultra leather. It's a high grade ultra leather. We've been using it for a few years now and everybody has loved it. So we've had zero warranty issues on this like they did with ultra leather in the past. This is a sleeper sofa. So it turns into a full size bed. The arms are removable and these trays are removable. It's customizable for how you want to use the bed. You also have the dinette in this coach that will convert into a small sleeping area with uh, storage cabinets underneath each bench. So in the Phoenix TRX, the Swivel seats are standard. We also get the uh, custom embroidery on the headrest, but you know, you can swivel this around and then you have additional seating area for, you know, evening conversations. So, I mean, your customer base that's buying this is probably one or two people, I would imagine for the that's most part. Definitely not made for a big family unless you like living in tight quarters, but this is plenty of room for one or two people. Like Abs we're in here, absolutely. plenty of room. Yeah, one or two people. A few of our customers in particular, that's an older couple, maybe they have an adult child that they're still caring for. 
customer recently just posted they got their coach nine months ago and I saw a post just yesterday how much they're enjoying it and taking their daughter out. So it's good for them. Yeah, so you have the Norcole refrigerator and here's a three-way fridge. Plenty of space in here for two people. Oh yeah. With a pretty large freezer. Yeah, you have a very generous pantry here. So you can get pretty much everything you need for, you know, a, a good weekend trip. And they're good, locked. Yes, yes. Nice. So we added uh, latches here. So again, because there's so much room here, you can put a lot of weight in these drawers. Right. So you keep those latches, they're not going to come open. Really and that's bad. really important because we, we have a pantry without latches and we load it up too much. I actually had to add extra things. Mm -hmm. It just swings right yeah, open. Everything's everywhere. On the Especially, floor. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of annoying. So I'm Absolutely. glad you thought of that. And then a large closet here on the driver's side. Pretty generous order wardrobe here. You've got the clothes rod there, but also adjustable shelves in this coach. So you can choose to modify it however you need to use it. Before we move to this rear kitchen, which I really like, do want to comment, no carpet. That's always a plus. Keeps things really nice. nice but and clean. for a coach this size, I'm very impressed with the kitchen. You have a lot of counter space, two oh, burners, yeah, which it. is nice. And then you commented all your doors, drawer fronts are all solid. Yep. Wood. All solid wood construction on the door and drawer fronts. You got a pretty generous size sink here, but as always, we provide the sink covers so that if you just want a little extra workspace, I mean, when I'm traveling, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just remove the one right. cover so I can still have access to the sink yep. and still have a little extra workspace. Yeah. This rear kitchen is actually a pretty popular and we we put in a, in a couple of floor plans the size of the microwave yeah Look this at... convection microwave also yes okay so you got a convection yeah, microwave you can cook two burner cooktop full sink power yes convection microwave you still have some area for dishes you have drawers below and then you have an area here here is that just an access that's panel? an access panel okay yep, i want to pull really hard routine. on that okay yeah. just a lot of room here mm -hmm. for something this size so every one of our coaches has a full dry bath so you've got your full shower separate from the toilet and then a nice size vanity but in this coach and this is new for us just recently is we're now putting a macerator toilet in the coaches which is not common for products in our class whatever you put in the toilet it'll macerate it and then so making cleaning your tanks a whole lot easier so tina thank you for taking the time and giving us that detailed tour and the information people want to know if they are interested in purchasing or they just want more information, what's the best way to reach Phoenix? And then how can you purchase one of these units or any one of your units? Yeah, you can um, contact us online by visiting our website at www.phoenixusarv.com. And there's a link to contact us. Feel free to call us at the plant at 574-266-2020. We'll help guide you to a dealer that might be closest to you. We're currently working with uh, Campers Inn here at the Hershey Show. And then we're also with La Mesa RV out west and Midway RV in the Midwest. So um, any of those dealers could help you out or you can contact us directly. Now, everybody wants to know price. What is MSRP and the current show price at the Hershey Show? Yeah, so on this particular coach, the MSRP is 184,632. So all of our dealers uh, sell at factory set pricing. And so for this show, you're gonna see 161,660 on this coach as it's sitting here. Very popular motorhomes, the Phoenix Cruisers, people really like them. And if you read the reviews, people have had them for a long time and they rave about the quality. Put in the comments below, what do you think about this? For myself, MJ and Tina, it's Journey of a Lifetime, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you.